Welcome to Law You Should Know. The law affects every aspect of our lives, our home, our jobs, and our recreational activities. Now you can learn about the law and how to protect yourself against the loss of your liberty or property. Learn how to stand up for your rights and seek compensation when you have been wronged. Your host for Law You Should Know is attorney Kenneth J. Landau with the Mineola Law Firm of Shane, Dox, Denise, and Corker. He's a member of the Committee on Professional Ethics of the Bar Association of Nassau County and counsel to the Nassau Academy of Law. And now, here is your host for Law You Should Know, attorney Kenneth J. Landau. Hi, this is Ken Landau, and welcome to Law You Should Know. Today we're talking about PinkTie.org. It's a special networking organization for lawyers and other professionals. And to tell us about the charitable work done by the organization, it's also a way for lawyers and others to get involved with charities, are Michael Passantino and Ray Thomas, who are very involved in outside businesses and also with PinkTie.org. Welcome to Law You Should Know. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you for having us. And Michael, let's start with you. Why was PinkTie.org created? So PinkTie.org was created by Mike and Rich Cave. They were the co-founders uh, of the uh, charity five years ago. Uh, it was born from uh, the real estate industry. Uh, they were constantly doing networking events and attending them, and we were looking for a way that we can do it ourselves. Um, Mike's aunt had breast cancer and passed away from it. My mother had it. Um, and, you know, we looked for a way to make direct impacts here on local Long Island's for local Long Island charities. And, Ray, what are some of the benefits that lawyers or other professionals attending get out of Pink Tie? Right. So our, um, our one of the nice things about us is that we are uh, a networking-based charity. So in other words, every event that we do has a networking component to it. So when people come to our events, um, not only are they supporting a great charity, but they get the opportunity to meet people that they can potentially do business with. So they're doing good for charity and perhaps doing good for themselves. Exactly. And I know you have a, your big annual event coming up on May 22nd of this year. Let's tell us about that for a minute, Michael. Sure. So every year for the last five years, uh, the PinkTie.org Nation has been um, putting together an event. It's a, um, a networking charity event. We bring athletes and celebrities. Uh, we have our signature pink ties that are signed. We frame them. We um, <clears throat> we raffle those off. And we've been doing it in the tens of thousands with them. So when we first started pink tie, first year we did it, we had 300 attendants. The second year we had about 1,000. The third year we had about 1,500. And last year we had 2,850 people attend. It was one of the top fastest growing networking charitable organizations in New York. It was an excellent time. This year we've outdone ourselves. We signed Scott Stapp from the band Creed is coming into play as our headline event. Uh, we're expecting over 4,000 people this year, um, so get your tickets early. And for, Ray, for ticket information or someone with more information on the organization, how can someone find out? Yeah, the best thing to do is go to our website, www.pinktie.com. Org. We have all information about the event, the history. Uh, we have a video um, showing last year's event, some of the highlights. And uh, obviously, uh, you can uh, purchase tickets uh, for the event. And we also have uh, branding opportunities, too. So, And that's also available on the website. We have information about that. And, Michael, what other events do you have throughout the this is your big event coming up in may but what other events do you have throughout the year of interest to lawyers and other so business professionals yes we typically do um quarterly events uh typically uh, most of the time the second quarter because of uh, our big event we don't have one but we'll have three events a year um spawn from pink uh we did pink tie 1000 a 5013c where we compelled a thousand business professionals uh across this uh across long island to donate a hundred dollars a business quarter, four hundred dollars a year, thirty-three dollars a month, to uh, PinkTie.org. We then will cut a check to a local Long Island-based charity for a hundred thousand dollars. Everything that we do at PinkTie is one hundred percent administrative free. It's a complete pass-through. Uh, we get corporations to put up the sponsored dollars. All the money we raise at the event goes directly to the charities, and uh, you know, as a result of that. 
the charities, uh, we don't apologize for it. We do business with them. We ask them to open up, and if they're going to choose to do a vendor uh, like myself, I own, uh, I mean, I'm the general manager of Trinity Solar. So we developed what is called the Pink Energy Program. For every watt of solar energy that Trinity Solar sells here in Long Island, we donate back three cents a watt to Pink Tie Organization. So since January of 2015, we've raised uh, just over $200,000. So the more solar we sell, the more we donate back to local grassroots charities here on the island. It's a great marketing plan, and it's working. And also, you yourself are involved in doing the work of Pink Tie. Yes. Um, myself, Mike, and Rich are the three board members right now that uh, run Pink Tie. We have, uh, you know, obviously, Ray Thomas does a great job for a Sioux Cave. Um, Joanne Winkhart, Stephanie Burns, uh, they're all on, on point with giving us hands, helping us set the event up. This year, we hosted at the Crest Hollow Country Club, May 22nd. Come on out and see us. It's going to be a great event. And it's a good way to network and have fun and, and get a charitable contribution. Most people said to us from the beginning, after the first year that we did it, we weren't planning on doing it again the second year. But then they started calling us, our business associates, saying, I did so much business there. That was a, a completely unbelievable event. Um, it's not a chicken dinner. You don't sit down and we don't listen to speeches. This is more of an event, you know. Um, for us to raise charitable funds that we can donate back to the people that are really doing the hard work. And people can network while they're there. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and Ray, let's go to you first and then Michael, but how can someone make the most of their time? Let's say, let's say this event or your other events. What is? How can they do effective networking? Great. Uh, great question. So, you know, one of the nice things about um, supporting a charity, and we call ourselves go-givers, you know, growing your business by giving back, is that, you know, a lot of us, like, say, lawyers or, or title, I'm in the title business, you know, we're a dime a dozen. There's a lot of us out there. So how do you separate yourself from the other title person or the other attorney? Well, why not open up by talking about a charity or something that you're involved in? Because number one, it, it creates that, that commonality between the potential client that you're talking to. And also it creates a bond. You know, people like to do business with people that they can know and associate with and build a relationship with. So it's a great way for, you know, a lead in to start a conversation to kind of build that rapport with that potential client. And we found that to be very successful. And uh, Mike Passantino is a great example of that. His business has grown tremendously by that. So we've been able to show people that are part of our network how to do the same thing by coming to our events and we create an atmosphere that you want to talk to the people that are at the event because of the camaraderie that exists at our events. And you're also helping other people and charities just by being there. Absolutely. So, Michael, do you have any suggestions on how someone can make the most out of it, especially if they're a little bit shy? Well, what we're really good at is we're really good at building relationships. So, um, you know, we keep our ticket prices at $150. So any level of business person that has um, a heart of giving, uh, go giving, can actually do business there. We've, uh, at, at the network itself, you know, we go with our significant others. And they tend not to see us because we're pulled in so many directions. People are asking us, can you make an introduction to the CEO of Trinity Solar? Absolutely. I'll go over there and introduce him to Tommy Pollock. Um, guys will come up and say, hey, I need to meet somebody at Markham. Who do you know over there? They're, they're right over there. They're a sponsor of ours. I'll introduce you to Mr. So-and-so. And so during the event, myself, Ray, our staff are introducing our clients who are there to do business and say, hey, Mike, we never get the opportunity to meet this person. How, can you get me in front of him for five minutes? Absolutely. And that's what the event's about. So at this event and also your other events, people are going to have a chance to meet, network with, and be introduced to people they probably would not meet in their professional groups and other charity events they go to. That's right. Because and, and maybe you can expand on that a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're seeing some of the top CEOs and companies on Long Island actually get what we're doing. Um, we've done it like no other charity has done it before. We're the fastest growing network uh, in New York State. And the reason for that is because we're doing business with charities. We're giving back. It's that mentality of service first and profit second. And so when people come to us and want to be associated with the brand Pink Tie, they know that there's companies with integrity and character. They're doing the right thing. They're like-minded. And it makes that portion of business, the trust portion, um, it eliminates it because you know that you're actually working with somebody uh, who has the same goals as you do. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ryan. Yeah. And one of the nice things about that, I mean, our event is done on a Monday night. So imagine being able to get 2,700, 3,000 people to come out on a Monday night. And why is that? Because in one night you accomplish three things and we call that the win, win, win. It's a great night out. You're supporting a great cause 
and you're getting the opportunity to meet people that you can do business with. Three things in one night. You're killing, you know, you're getting three things accomplished in one night out. I mean, how, how do you lose with that? Right. So it's a win-win situation. For, win. For Add another win. For the charity and for yourself. Correct. And 100% of the funds that you're donating in that 150 is going back to the charity. And uh, these are, you said, Long Island charities. All, where the money is raised is where we donate it. So if we raise it in Queens, we donate it to a charity in Queens. If we raise it on Long Island, we donate it to a charity on Long Island. We keep it here. And you mentioned some of the charities that you've helped. Do you want to just tell us about a few more, Ray? Sure. Um, one is, like you said, the Don Monte uh, Memorial Research Foundation, uh, Friends of Karen, uh, the Timothy Hill Children's Ranch, the Carol M. Bowen Breast Cancer Research uh, Fund, uh, the University Medical Center, the American Cancer Society, uh, Tommy Ag, the annual golf outing, uh, Stupid Cancer, the Maury Foundation for Breast and Health Education, FACT, which is uh, Breast Cancer Foundation, the Townwide Fund, and those are just to name a few. And, and we're very proud that we're able to do that. Um, one thing I'd like to mention, too, is that the, our credit card processing company, he even donates um, the fees back into the charity so we can really give back everything that a person um, donates. You know, most people like to do it online, make a contribution. Those fees are donated back, so it all goes to the charity. And someone may need a credit card processing company for um, their business, professional or not, so they can meet someone with integrity and is like-minded at your event. Absolutely, absolutely. And and that's why the, the great thing about this program, you, you mentioned that you, uh, um, it's a, focused on lawyers. A lot of attorneys come out to this because, you know, you're supporting a great cause and they want to learn how to do that, how to network. A lot of attorneys don't know the first thing about networking. What, what, what does that mean? You know, so they'll go out and they'll stay into a corner or they'll stay with the person that they're with. We're not like that. There are no, you know, chairs and things like that to sit down and have a dinner. We make you move around and introduce you to people. And we're gonna, and, and in a few minutes, I'm going to ask both of you for some tips on how lawyers and others can break the ice at an event like yours or in networking, in you know, in general. And I, I know that your your organization involves a lot of real estate people. So tell us about the, the many aspects of real estate professionals who are also involved with Pink Tie in this upcoming event. Go ahead, Ray. Sure. So um, a lot of them you'll find are, are mortgage companies. Uh, real estate uh, brokers, um, real estate attorneys, um, and even divorce attorneys, because they touch on real estate <laughs> okay. as well. Banks. Uh, banks. A lot of the banks get involved. And, and you'll find that because of that, a lot of um, ancillary companies want to be a part of that because that's their market as well. That's why uh, Trinity Solar came on board, because guess what? These people have homes. They have electricity. And this is the way uh, r real estate brokers can meet real estate attorneys and vice versa. Absolutely. And lenders can meet, you know, both of those groups. Exactly. Okay. We're going to take a short break now. When we come back, we'll continue our discussion about networking and the other types of businesses or professionals who come to these events and how Pink Tie does a lot of good for charities on Long Island and the, the people who attend. We're talking with Michael Passantino and Ray Thomas from PinkTie.org, and they've been talking to you about their big event coming up later in May and also throughout the year. You're listening to Law You Should Know here on 90.3 WHPC, the voice of Nass Community College in Garden City, also of the internet at ncc.edu slash WHPC. We'll be back in a moment. This portion of programming on WHPC is brought to you on behalf of the Nassau County Bar Association, helping both the public and lawyers since 1899. They are the largest suburban bar association in the country. The Nassau County Bar Association offers clinics where you can meet privately with an attorney to prevent or solve legal problems involving Hurricane Sandy, foreclosure, wills, or elder law. Speakers on almost any legal topic are also available to schools or community groups. They can also help lawyers advance their legal careers and offer a place to network. Learn more about the Nassau County Bar Association by calling 516-747-4070 or visit NassauBar.org. Once again, we continue with Law You Should Know. From the Mineola Law Firm of Shane, Dox, Denise, Corker, and Sauer, here is attorney Kenneth J. Landau. Hi, this is Ken Landau, and welcome back to Law You Should Know. We're talking about PinkTie.org. It's a networking group for lawyers and other professionals, and all the proceeds are given to charity, so it's a win-win for every 
one involved. And they're having a very big event on May 22nd at the Crest Hollow Country Club. We'll talk about it a little bit later.